and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shira. I do cruelty-free beauty and vegan lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Thank you for coming back. Thank you to all my new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, welcome on in. Just click the bell. We're trying to get on track here. A lot has gone on. That's life. Like a lot has gone on in your life. Same thing for me. But I'm trying to cut out some time to record because this is what makes me happy. But I wanted to get into my favorites. I I think I might do like an every other month favorites because I feel like a lot of the times there isn't enough stuff that I purchased or I have that I've fallen back in love with or I'm trying out. So I think for now I might just do every other, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but I want to tell you guys about one of my favorites. It's such a random favorite. I'm going to have to insert a little bit of footage here for you guys. Um, if you don't know, I'm from New York, born and raised. We moved out here to California. Um, and I say all that to say because everywhere I've lived up until this point, I've always had an ice machine, okay? New York, you can get away with it. It's The summers are hot, but summers are, are third, you know, three months, okay? In California, it's like summer all year round, okay? So we live in this place now where I know I'm such a bougie bonton. I almost passed out when I, I saw there wasn't an ice machine um, or an ice maker in the freezer. So actually, I feel like I manifested this because my, my little sister and I were looking online to find um, an ice machine because I was like, yo, not. I can't go another. I, can, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot go another summer without some type of something like we need some relief so we were david t told me he told me do not get another gadget in this house i'm like but i have to like that's the only thing that i want i'm not gonna get anything else that's all i want and funny enough i checked my email and this company called new air reached out to me and said hey we actually like if you can um test out a deep fryer the air fryers that we have and i just bought an air fryer so i went on their website just to see what they were about and see what it was and i noticed they had an ice maker and i actually said instead of the air the, the air fryer would you mind if um i could sample and test out the ice machine and look at god they done sent it on over and when i tell you i am obsessed it is so good like especially because i think this is a plus because really Especially if you're somebody that's funny about your water, like the water in Long Beach wasn't the greatest, but if you're just using ice real quick to, to cool down your drink, okay. But for me, because I drink water, I feel like it messes with the flavor of water. With this, because I use filtered water now in my house, um, you take your filtered water and you put it in the little contraption to let it flow through the ice machine and make some ice. Now, if you're somebody that only drinks bottled water or bottled, um, you only want bottled stuff to go in the ice me machine, perfect, that's great for you. But guys, I love this. You literally, I think the thing markets itself as like 40 pounds of ice a day, which is amazing. And I really love it. And I told Anaya the next place that she lives in in Florida, if she doesn't have one, we're gonna have to gift one for her because to me, it's life changing. Yesterday, we went to the pool and we already have enough ice to go to the pool with and just put it in the container and go uh, when I was pregnant to me because ice tastes so different um, I had to send David to the store to get bags of ice when I was pregnant because I couldn't I went through a phase no water lukewarm water super ice cold water it was just a thing for me so um, yeah I'm so happy I'm so blessed to have this now, thank you so much to New Air for sending it over. I super duper appreciate it. And I actually think I want to do, I do want to get something else from their website, but I'm not, not exactly sure. I might get a new air fryer because the one that I do have is smaller. Look at that. But I don't know, guys, if you live in a place that you don't have an ice machine, I really do recommend it, especially if you think about how often you buy ice. If un Unless you, you, you use the old school um, ice makers, that's cool, that's for you. I used to do that too, but it just takes too long. I drink too much water, and I need too much ice for that, for me at least. I speak for myself. And um, if you don't want to keep going to the store and buying ice and all that stuff, it's summertime. The stores are going to run out of ice like they always do every year. This is such a great investment. After you're done with it, if it's something that you only use a couple times a year, it's paid for itself. I don't know. I really like it. I'm going to stop talking about it. You guys can go check it out. I really like it. It comes in a couple different sizes. I think there was one that can make like 20 pounds of ice a day. Um, it just depends. Mine sits on my counter. I'll show you guys um, when I go into the kitchen. Mine sits on my counter and I really enjoy it so so anywho I'm gonna jump into some new items to me and then a couple things are a little older so I was actually blessed to go to the ipsy event that they had the creators um, event here in LA I feel like I think this is my first creators event every other time I literally missed it by like the skin of my teeth I think the last one that I was 
possibly able to go to we were living in New York and we were just moving to California something like that and we I missed it so I was really excited to be invited this year and actually able to go I feel like because I've been a little bit inconsistent on YouTube I feel like I'm kind of forgotten about so to get that um, email it was really cool and I replied and I'm like yes I want to go I'm gonna be there I want to meet the brands that I love and I want to support these people that are cruelty free and do have vegan options and all that stuff so um, I was really excited a lot of the brands that were there did have those options like I said and one of the companies I really fell in love with I was going to do a, a big purchase for them on Sephora but at the time of the Sephora sale I actually put myself on a no buy like I told you guys I have so many products on this side and I want to say about 95% of the products that I have I've purchased I, I don't I don't get PR the way other girls get PR so anything that is sent to me I really do wholeheartedly use it and try it and want to test it out for everybody so um, when I was there, I was I was like, I told the girl too, I was like, I really wanted to purchase from you guys, but because I have so many products already, I kind of wanted to use the things that, that I've purchased and then get some new stuff. And she was like, no, that's cool, I completely understand, I love your vibe, I want to talk to you, let's, let's get you some products. So they were giving this away, I kept my stuff in the boxes too, just so I knew what I was talking about. This guy's is so nice, it's such a nice... Um, mist. It has such a nice mister on it. This is called the Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist with Reishi and Penapeptide Ashwagandha Hyaluronic Acid. And I got through it. <laughs> this is um, the brand used to the people. Did I say that? Used to the people. And this is a four ounce bottle. I wanted to bring this, but when I. <sighs> it smells like, I don't know, like. There used to be, a, was it a fragrance called Blue Jeans? To me, it reminds me of that, but there's no fragrance in here. Um, I really like this. This smells so good to me. You can try it out in the store, I believe, but they had me spray this. It was so nice. I really like it. Um, it says this ultra fine mist calms an even skin tone with a rush of antioxidant rich adaptogens and soothing peptides, delivering pro grade actives throughout the day so an adaptogen helps your skin to adapt to whatever's going on so if there's a lot of stressors in your life or in the air or whatever it is it helps to combat that in a way which I think is really cool I actually have a tea I'm sorry a coffee that has adaptogens in it I, I drink um uh four sigma the shroom coffees it's actually pretty good so when I was speaking to her and she was like, oh, have you ever heard of adaptogens? I'm like, of course, I drink adaptogens. It's so funny because it's a mushroom. Um, so she was like, I think you're really going to like this. Here you go. You know, try this out. This company is 100% uh, vegan ingredients, no animal testing, made in California, cold press extracts, and and for all skin types. And it's free of parabens, sulfites, phthalates, pegs, mineral oils, silicones, and artificial colors, which I really like. All the people at that booth that day were literally the nicest people throughout the whole thing. I feel like sometimes I'm overlooked because I'm not a big name on YouTube. Um, and when you're not a big name or you're not somebody that looks like they have a lot of followers, people just kind of brush over you and they really didn't. They were so nice. She sat and talked to me. I brought my friend back down because she didn't hear of the company. She's never heard of the company. So I was like, no, I want to introduce you. They're really, really nice here. And their, their products look super dope. I've read so much about them. I've heard so many good things about them. Please come down and talk. And they were super nice. They talked to her as well. So I really like that spray. I would highly recommend it. I know it has a bit of a pricey price tag or, you know, but of an expensive price tag but if you guys are interested in something like that it's nice and cooling for the skin if you don't I like to use it as like a light face mist I don't use too many sprays um, so I think that will last me a while but you guys can always go into the store and see if you can get samples um, I know they have a, a whole lot more than what I have here but I really like that mist another thing that I was really liking from them was the maki and acai uh, prickly pear goji super berry hydrate and glow oil this is not too light and not too heavy it's like that perfect in between for um, an oil I put this on after I wash my face and I've been using because I just wanted to test this out I've been using the kale and green tea spinach uh, spinach vitamin super food face wash this is what the box look like looks like I have one in my um, 
my bathroom. I was just trying to keep everything in its little package so I know what I was talking about, like I said. But this is what the little jar looks like, and I think this is so cute. I love the packaging. I love how simple it is. It seems very green because, you know, it's got the cardboard. It's not too much plastic except for, like, the caps or whatever. This one I have been really liking as well. This is the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. This has ashwagandha and reishi um, penna peptides. This is so nice. It's it's very thick, but it's like lightweight. Oh no, I got stuck. So as you can see, I've been using that, but I really like this. Um, let me see. It says for all skin types. Does it give you how much is in here? This is 0.25 of a fluid ounce. I really like this. I concentrate this under my eye. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. Um, does it say? It just says use day and night, so you could use it however you want. But because it's so thick, I like to concentrate it at night under here. And I feel like it has been helping. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of wrinkles because I'm getting older, but it's okay. We're going to age gracefully as long as we have really good skincare. And I feel like I'm at that age where I do need to invest a little in, 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 I don't want to say better skincare, just things that have better ingredients, I guess you can say. But I really like that. Um, and I've also been testing this out here and there because I've been using a lot of oil instead. This is the Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. It's a similar bottle to that smaller one, the one that I was telling you that I put right under my eye. But this you can just do right all over the skin. This is super lightweight. It kind of reminds me of like a gel, but not. And it just rubs in. It's so nice. Can you see that? And it smells so nice. I really like this line. I actually want to get a whole lot more from them. And I'll report back to you if I, I do. Um, I have put myself on pretty much a no buy, but if I do see something that's on sale, I'm going to get it. Um, and I've just kind of been ooh, dibbling and dabbling between this one and the, this uh, this one and this pixie one. Um, they do two different things, but this is the tripeptide 5 vitamin c hyaluronic acid superfood firm and brightening serum you know get that around the eyes and you know to tighten my skin and then i've also been using the pixie um that one's from youth to the people as well but i've been using this pixie one this is the pixie glow tonic serum exfoliating radiance serum this one i feel like makes my skin feel a lot more hydrated this one says massage two to three drops into cleanse tone skin before moisture yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So I do a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here, and I'll just go all in very lightly, you know, massage it into the skin like that on the chin and all that, and then I'll go in with, you know, this oil, or I'll go in with my Ola Henriksen oil, um, but I've really been liking those. Also in the morning, I get up pretty early. I get up around, well... 6 to 6.30, depends on what day it is. I'll start working 6.30 or 7. But in the morning time, especially because I'm on the computer, I'm sitting in front of the computer the majority of my day, I will go in and use these Pixies um, Detoxify Deep Puffing Eye Patches. It comes in a thing of, you get 30 pairs for these. Um, but this is what they look like. The little spoon is in here. But I just put one on each side and I'll wear this until they pretty much dry out. Denver likes to pull them off in the morning for me. But I've really been liking this. I feel like it has been hydrating that skin underneath the eye that much more for me. And I appreciate that. If I'm not doing this, I will be doing like, um... A sheet mask to hold in moisture. I have dry skin. I feel like I've always had dry skin my whole life or more dehydrated skin. I drink a lot of water. I drink probably almost a gallon of water a day. Um, and still, it's, I just just feel like at this point it's my skin. So I, using things like this, this really helps me as well. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I haven't done these videos in so long. So we'll keep going with them. Um... Well, since we're also talking about the skin, you guys know this This is nothing new, so I won't go too deep into it. But this is a Nubian Heritage Petroleum Beriti Infused Shea Butter Toning and Uplifting. I love this stuff. This is made with rosehip seed oil. This smells so good to me. Say it with me. It smells like the Terry Mugler. I know. I'm probably boring you guys at this point, but I really, really like this. Um... I purchased mine off of iHerb. I want to say it's like $11 on iHerb. But if you do shop there often, you get the loyalty credits that you could just apply to it. Uh, but I really like this. I purchase this all of all of the time. So I really like that one. Um, 
this I'm obsessed with as you guys can see it's almost gone but I do have a backup right here this is the zoom mist frankincense and myrrh aromatherapy and body mist I use this as a body mist we actually um, initially bought this to go on vacation with us because we were stay we were going on a cruise in Denver when he blows it down he blows it down so I was like, I want to get something that's going to make the room smell good if that happens. They don't want housekeeping coming in and like, they're like, whoa, guys, what's going on here, you know? So I'm really obsessed with this. I love the scent of frankincense and myrrh. This scent actually really reminds me of my mom. Maybe that's why I love it so much. But this is a Zoom Mist. It's, it's from a company called Indigo Wild. They also do soaps and all that stuff. But the Zoom line, that's what, it, what, what I really love. Um, they also have the soap detergent, or I'm sorry, the laundry detergent. The laundry soap, they don't call it detergents, laundry soap. I really like that. But the spray, because I had to purchase a new one, that's how I know it's it's real. I purchased this one. You just shake it up so the um, fragrance oils mix in with like the glycerin in there and you just spray it. And I still, I sprayed this hours ago and I still smell it on me right now. This one feel I feel like has the longest lingering scent. Um, the lavender one as well is really nice. I don't know, I love them all. They smell so good to me. Um, Okay, sorry. So I have two deodorants. This one I'm pretty much almost done with, so I wanted to just show you guys one last time. This is the Schmitz Rose and Vanilla. I love Schmitz. I've been using them for years now. I do not use deodorants that have aluminum, and I don't use um, I don't use a lot of the mainstream deodorants at all. It's pretty much this Nubian Heritage. Um, Jason or Jason, I'm not sure how you say that one. The La Vanilla, but this one I really like. I, I want to find it again in the TJ Maxx. That's the 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 trick for me to getting the La Vanillas. I'll wait till it hits like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or something like that. Because originally they're sixteen dollars, and I'm not paying sixteen dollars for a deodorant. That's a little wild, you know. But the La Vanilla, this one was on sale for seven ninety nine, so I was like, okay. Uh, this one is in the scent Vanilla Summer, and I really, oh, I really enjoy this scent. I really really enjoy this scent. Um. Like I said, I don't use um, things that are not cruelty free and they have to have no aluminum in it. That's like the pre requisite for me. So those two I really like. Those have been my favorites. I've been just alternating between the two. I also have another one from Schmitz. It's the Sensitive um, Underarm One Geranium something. I like that one too. It kind of smells like rose to me. But um, moving on, I'm going to show you this toothpaste. This one is from, I want to call it Jason, but they have accents and stuff over it. So is it Jason? Jason, I, I, I'm not sure, but I like them too. I actually have a deodorant from them as well. It's not my favorite, but I, you know, it's doable. This one is um, called the Power Small Whitening Paste in Vanilla Peppermint. It's fluoride free, SLS free, and gluten free. Um, and I really like this. This one has a really good flavor to it. Did I say they're cruelty free? I'm not sure, but this one I really like, and actually David likes it, so that's how I know it's a go. Vanilla peppermint, who knew? It's a go. And um, three more things. So I don't, I've gotten out of using the mainstream um, plugins, right? So Airwick I don't use anymore, and Bath and Body Works I don't use anymore. I literally just told my sister she can have the little plug-in things for the wall. Um, Cause I don't use them anymore. It, uh, to me, it's it's after being pregnant and having HD, my taste buds, my nose sense, the scents have just changed so much for me, and I much prefer things that are a little more natural smelling. I think the most that I can probably take from Bath and Body Works is maybe the eucalyptus spearmint, and that's you know. I guess because it's a more natural aromatherapy clean scent that's probably why I can do it a little better but um, for me I just went to the store and I actually found this at Hobby Lobby this is actually an oil, an essential oil burner or essential oil plug-in let me see if I can get it off so the one that I actually purchased didn't have the little the little square to put them in so I just used a cotton pad and I cut it into a square and I stuck it in there. Now I use a couple drops of oil and I put it on there and you could plug this right in and I really like this because when you plug it in you could press the power button on the side and it lights up. Now this one just says home. I really wanted something that was just super plain but they didn't have it so I was like let me try it out and I actually really like this. Um, you could change if you get yours that has the pads in it let me know what the directions say because I'm I'm assuming somebody stole it from the package but I pretty much change the little cotton round out maybe once a week you could probably use something that's a little more sustainable if you use I don't know um, maybe an old washcloth that you cut up and see if it will stick in there but this I really I really like it it's, it works really well it makes the whole room smell really good I keep this one in my office 
Um, so I can recommend that. That one was maybe like $10 at Hobby Lobby. But I wonder if you can find them on uh, Amazon. You can pretty much find anything on Amazon, right? But you can go on Amazon and check for yourselves if you like. But I personally really like that. I really have gotten away from... Um, buying toxic smelling candles and plug-ins and things like that. That's just me. If you want to do that as well, let me know your favorite scents. My favorite scent to keep in here is um, rose or like a lemon or something just really fresh, but rose I've really been putting in that. That's why that cotton thing is so saturated. Uh, another thing that I have for the month that's been my favorite, I feel like I've been burning this almost every day, is Nag Champa. I purchased this from iHerb as well. This scent reminds me of my mom and my mom's store. And um, I don't know, maybe I was just really in my feelings this month because this year marks five years that my mom has passed, which is cra When I say it's crazy, it's crazy. I feel like it just happened the other day and we're already celebrating five years. So I don't know, maybe this month is like dedicated to my mom because these are things that she would love. She would have loved these things. Um, but yeah, so Nag Champa, I really like it. I don't know. I really like the smell of incense. It's like it's like my jam. I really like it. And I just keep it here in um I keep it burning in my office. What does it say? Ingredients used are free from heavy metals like lead, ca cadmium, and are non-carcinogenic, safe for mixing and rolling by plain hands. Free from harmful chemicals like benzene and toluene. Well, that's nice to know. That's really good. I like it. And then my last makeup favorite for the month. This has been on my desk all month, so that's how I know it's been a favorite. Um, and I want to get my money's worth because, you know, you pay for things. You want to get your money's worth. So this is the Kat Von D 10-year uh, anniversary palette. This is actually one of the prettiest palettes that I own. This artwork is absolutely amazing. But I really like this because it kind of gives you the best of, like, all worlds. Um, you guys know one of my holy grail shadow palettes for myself that I pretty much always have is the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Eye Palette, the original. I like that. I feel like if you're going out of town, if you just know you're just going to do basic looks, that's the perfect palette for you. But I think this is a, a step in the right direction for me um, because you do get a bunch of different colors in here. I've been using this and it still looks brand new. So you can go on the crease with this color and you can deepen the crease, you can make the lid lighter, like whatever you wanna do, I feel like this is such a good palette. This is actually my one of my sister's favorite palettes and she actually just currently dropped hers and she's devastated. So, uh, I don't know, I really like it. It has a massive mirror, if you could see there, it has a massive mirror. Um, so I should have brought this when I was traveling. <laughs> I would have I would have been good but so those are some of my favorites for the past couple months or two months um, if you guys want to share your favorites with me I would love to know down below if there are anything cruelty free and vegan down below please let me know and I'll check them out um, yeah so I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things hopefully you guys are still there and rocking with me hopefully all is well with you and I shall see you guys in the next one please remember to be blessed well dressed and not stressed and I'll see you there oh and like my shirt says have a nice day. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.